Kara Hydropower Project is located at the junction of Punjab Province and AJK in the northeast part of Pakistan, 55 kilometers away from Islamabad in the west, and 74 kilometers away from Magladan in the south. There is easy access to the area. Kara Hydropower Project is the fourth of the five cascade development of the main stream of Julum River. This project is mainly developed for power generation. Normal water level of the reservoir is 461 meter. With daily regulation performance, the installed capacity is 720 megawatt and annual power generation 3.2 billion kilowatt hour. Mean annual temperature of the dam site is about 20 degrees centigrade and mean annual rainfall about 1,442 millimeter. Control catchment area of the dam site is 26.7 thousand square kilometers. Mean annual discharge 819 cubic meter per second. And mean annual rainfall 25.83 billion cubic meters. The hydropower station feature heavy flood. The peak discharge of design flood in a 500 year return period is 20.7 thousand cubic meter per second. And the peak discharge of check flood in a 5,000 year return period is 29.6 thousand cubic meters per second. Storage capacity below normal water level of the reservoir is 152 million cubic meters. Mean annual sediment concentration at the dam site is 1.28 kilogram per cubic meter. And annual overall sediment runoff 38.12 million tons. The ratio of storage capacity to sentiment volume is about 5. Sentiment deposition is a striking problem. The fluctuation of water level is great, and the fluctuation of tail water level of the powerhouse reaches 31.74 meter. Seismic intensity is high, basic intensity is 8 degree, and the corresponding dynamic peak acceleration hits 0.26 gravity. The reservoir, about 27 kilometers long, is characterized by heat collision condition, stable banks, and small induced earthquake intensity. The Rum River lies in omega shape in the dam site and forms a 700 meter wide river bend at the right bank. The ground elevation is 400 to 520 meter. The river's valley is deep. The river course is narrow, about 30 to 60 meters wide in the dry season. The river valley is 320 to 500 meter wide at an elevation of 461 meter. The stratum is of Neogen Miocene sedimentary rocks, which include sandstone, argillaceous siltstone, and silty mudstone. Rocks are soft and weak, with saturated compressive stress of 8 to 13 million pascal. Rocks are distributed in alternated beds and the deep angle is gentle, usually 7 to 10 degree. The geological structure of the dam site is not developed, and there is no distribution of large faults. Weak intercalated layers are discovered in some edits and boreholes. Loose sandstone is exposed in some boreholes, distributed in lens shape of poor stratification and unstable distribution. Rocks are of small weathering thickness, but differential weathering is obvious. Unloading joints are quite developed, but not deep. Agilaceous sandstone and silt mudstone could crack after the loss of water and be softened when mid-water. They are sensitive to changes of water content. Concrete aggregate is scarce in the dam site area, and it is difficult to explore the gravel quarries available, and the whole distance is long. They run short of clay and fly ash as well. Carib Hydropower project is a grade 2 project. In the light of topographical and geological conditions, the Rockfield Dam with asphalt concrete core and the concrete gravity dam are recommended for the comparison and selection of dam types. After the technical and financial comparison, the core wall dam is recommended since the excavated materials can be used as dam construction material. The quantity demand for concrete aggregate is small. It is more adaptable to the geological conditions. The construction period can be better guaranteed, and the investment can be better controlled. Three complex layout schemes are proposed for Cold War Dam. 
After the technical and financial comparison, Scheme One was selected as a representative complex layout of Coldwell Dam. Based on Scheme One for the Coldwell Dam and after optimization, the final complex layout recommended it that the Rockfield Dam with asphalt concrete core is at the head of the river bend. The spillway penetrates through the ridge of the river bend in an inclined way. Its control section is provided with flood discharge surface orifices and flood discharge sediment flushing outlets, and its end is located at the most downstream. Water intake of the hydropower station is at the left side of the approaching canal of the spillway and close to the control section. The headrest tunnel crosses through the river bend to the powerhouse located at the upstream of Carrot Bridge. The diversion tunnel is between the powerhouse and the Coldwell Dam. Crest the elevation of the asphalt concrete coal rockfield dam is 469.5 meters, and the maximum dam height is 95.5 meters. The spillway is designed with two flood discharge sediment flushing outlets of 9 meters in width and 10 meters in height, and six flood discharge surface orifices of 14 meters in width and 22 meters in height. Fluid bucket is arranged in differential motion on the plane. Natural plunge pool is adopted in the downstream for energy dissipation. Water intake of hydropower station is of bank tower type, with floor elevation 431.5 meter. A sediment retaining seal is set at the front edge, with the top elevation 440 meter. One tunnel, one unit type is adopted for head race tunnels. Average length of the four tunnels is 316 meters, and the diameter ranges from 9.6 to 7.9 meters. The main powerhouse is 164.9 meters long in total, in six sections, including four unit sections and two erection bays. Four 180 megawatt water turbine generator sets are installed in the powerhouse. Water turbines are of vertical shaft Francis type, and generators are of vertical three-phase synchronous normal umbrella structure. Major parameters of the unit. Intake flows per unit is 312.1 cubic meter per second. Rated head 65 meter. Rated speed 100 rounds per minute. And runner diameter 6.4 meter. The hydropower station adopts two loops of 500 kV AC outgoing lines, with one connected with Gujanwala substation and the other with NJ power station. Unit connection of one generator, one transfer is adopted for generator transfer combination, and three to two connection scheme is adopted at the 500 kV site. The method of one-time river closure and tunnel river diversion with whole year copper dam is selected for carrot hydropower project. Earth rock dam are adopted for both upstream and downstream copper dams with maximum height of 55 meters and their seepage control is achieved through concrete cut up wall connected with composite geo membrane. There are three diversion channels of 12.5 meter in diameter and 447 meter in average length. Bio gravel quarry is selected as a source of hydraulic concrete aggregate, narrow gravel quarry as a source of spare aggregate, and limestone quarry of Texila Mountain as a source of asphalt concrete aggregate. Fresh and slightly weathered or moderately weathered sandstone and argillaceous siltstone diaphragm spillways are used as dam filling materials and shall be directly delivered to dam for use for avoiding storage and twice transport as far as possible. The construction period for power generation is 53 months and overall construction period is 60 months. The construction and operation of carrier hydropower project will strengthen bilateral exchanges and enhance friendship between Pakistan and China, increase Pakistan's electric power supply and promote the development of local society and economy.